Google only recently added Q&A functionality to Google Meet, and now you want to try it? Well, that's great because I'm Chanel Greco from Paris, and in this video, I'll show you how to use Q&A in Google Meet. Okay, so we now have a Google Meet call. Three people are logged into this call, and um, Jane, example, so here the purple browser, Jane's the organizer of this um, event of this Google Meet call, so she's the person who then also re will receive the information, who can um, uh, mark the questions as answered, and so on and so forth. So Adam here has a question. Adam wants to ask this specific question. How can I use Q&A? And now the third person in the call can actually go ahead and upvote this just by clicking on this thumbs up. And you see now that it'll, it's upvoted. And let's see what Jane sees. So here, her view is a bit of different view compared to Adam's view because, as I said, she is um, the organizer of this event, so she can also allow questions. She could also disable this functionality. And you know what? Let's go ahead and add a second question so that we can um, try out the sorting. So Adam, or you know, as a matter of fact, not Adam, uh, Chanel's going to ask that question. Go ahead, post it. Okay, great. So now we have two questions, one upvoted. And you see over here, um, we have filters. We can say all questions or unanswered, answered. You can also hide questions. Uh, oldest, or we could say most popular. Okay, because Adam's question was upvoted, so that's the most popular. And once this question has been answered, we can just simply mark it as answered. And you see here how also Adam's view, his question gets marked as answered. And we can do the same thing down here. And now this is also marked as answered. Okay, so um, Jane herself could also ask a question. Do you like, I don't know, Q&A? Like, maybe? There you go. Post this question. So you see also the, the initiator of this Google Me call can also um, ask questions. Let's say that Adam upvotes this, and you should see this over here. And let's go ahead and hide this just so that we see what happens. The question is now hidden, which is interesting. Now it's gone here too. It took um, a very uh, a couple of split seconds, and now it's gone here. Okay, so that's during the meeting. Um, what's the situation once the meeting has passed and once everyone has left the call? How does it look then? Let's have a look at that. The Google Meet call is over and Jane received an email. Let's have a look at it with a Sheets document attached to it. There you go. The team meeting, the questions that were uh, asked by the people. So. We see the question, who submitted the question, the timestamp, how many upvotes, if the moderator answered it or not, if it was hidden by the moderator, cleared, or submit or deleted it, so if the submitter deleted it itself. So um, I think this is pretty cool, uh, this new functionality. This might also be useful um, to, you know, like after meeting follow up, if you have the feeling that maybe a topic is unclear with someone. Um, and if you know who submitted the question, you might get back to them. Would you mind subscribing to my YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? Because every week I publish new video tutorials about Google Meet, Google Jamboard, and the other apps that are part of Google Workspace, and I wouldn't want you missing out on any of those tutorial videos.